Part 17. We are going to continue with time. You will find this on page 20 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. We are going to look at the duration of time. Example 20. Find the length of time between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. Now, first, you must convert the time to the 24-hour clock. This is in the 12-hour clock. So remember, if it's p.m., I add 12, so it's 22. If it's a.m., it stays the same. So I take that two values and I subtract. And then 8 from 22 will be 14, and that will be 14 hours. Okay, number B. Find the length of time between 5.35 a.m. and 3.15 p.m. the next day. Okay, again, convert it to the 24-hour clock. So if it's a.m., it stays the same. If it's p.m., I add 12. So 12 plus 3, it will be 15. Okay, now I'm going to add that previous day. So if I add that previous day to the 15, so it's 24 plus 15, I get 39.15. So I take the 39.15 and I subtract that beginning, 5.35, that one. Now, if I want to subtract the 35 from the 15, it's not going to work. So I must take an hour. If I take an hour, it's 38. And I convert one hour to minutes, and that's 60. So I take the 60 and I add it with the 15, and that will give me 75. And now 35 can now subtract from 75, and that gives me 40. And 5 can subtract from 38, and that gives me 33. So that will be 33 hours and 40 minutes between that two times. Okay. I want you to do the following. I want you to do number A and C, and I want you also to do number 5 and number 8. You can, let's just see if number 8 is complete. Yes. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay, let's start. We, it, we are at try now 20. Uh, and we are at number A. Find the elapsed time between 2, 4, 5. This is already in the 24-hour clock. So basically, I'm going to just say 12, 5, 3. And I'm going to subtract 0, 2, 4, 5. And this is going to be excellent. Because... If I subtract 5, 3 minus 4, 5, I get 8 minutes. And if I subtract 2 from, from 12, I get, so it will be 10 hours and 8 minutes. That's an easy one. But let's look at number C. 17.30 and 9.30 the next day. Now remember, this is already in the 24-hour clock. So basically, I can just go and I can just say, okay, I'm going to take the 9.30 and I'm going to add the previous day and that's the 24 hour. Okay, so if I add that, I'm going to get 33.30. Okay, so that's added the previous day. So if I then take the 33.30 and I subtract the 17.30, the beginning, if I subtract, I get 0, okay, and 17, 33 minus 17, that will be 16. So I can say, um, we can just maybe leave this, that it will be 16 hours between that two times. Okay, uh, let's look at number 5. Let's just make space. Okay. Number five, school starts 7.20. There are four periods of 40 minutes each before first break. Calculate time, first break starts. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to take the four periods and I must multiply with the 40 minutes. And if I do that, I'll come to an answer of 160 minutes. Now take that 160 and break it up into hours and minutes. Now 
two hours is 120 minutes. So it's two hours. And if I subtract 120 from the 160, I get 40 minutes. Okay, so it's two hours and 40 minutes. Then I take the time that school starts. School starts 7.20. And I just add the two hours and 40 minutes. That's giving me a 60. That's giving me a 9. As soon as I get 60, I must bring the hour over. Bring it to the hours. So that will be an answer of 10. So I can say that break will be at 10 a.m. Or on the 24-hour clock. And then if I look at my final one, number 8. Sue knows it takes 4 minutes and 10 seconds to walk to school. She can run 2 and a half times faster than she can walk. Calculate the time it will take her if she runs to school, giving your answer in minutes and seconds. So basically, I can first, I think the first will be to take everything to seconds. So she can walk 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Now, don't forget your table. I'm just going to remind you. It's hours, minutes, and seconds. So this is 60, 60. So I'm going to take the minutes. Yeah, remember, this time is multiply. So I'm going to take the minutes to seconds, so I must multiply by 60. So I'm going to say, let's just get my color again. I'm going to say 4 times 60. And I'm going to add the 10. And that will give me an answer of 250 seconds. Okay. Now, remember, she can two and a half times faster than she can walk. So basically, I'm just going to say 250. Now, because she can run faster, I'm going to divide it by that 2.5. Remember, two and a half, two and a half is equal in the decimal to 2.5. So I divide it by the 2.5. And if I divide it by 2.5, I'm getting an answer of 100 seconds. Okay. And if I take that seconds back to minutes, so that will be take out 60. So it will be 1 minute and 40 seconds. That is the time that she will run to school.